Let's talk about layers. Layers is the one thing that makes Photoshop an amazing photo editing and compositing tool. Layers allow you to work non-destructively by stacking images on top of other images without interacting and mixing the pixels of those images. We can add them or delete them at any time we want. Now when you create an image or open an image in Photoshop, it's visible in the Layers panel. Let me drag out the Layers panel. You can see by default a background layer, and you can notice a lock symbol on it. So the layer is locked. It means you can't move or do anything like that because the layer is locked. So to unlock a layer, we have different options. One of them is we can double click on a locked layer. It will show you a pop-up where you can change the name of that locked layer and then press OK. Now you can see our layer is unlocked and its name is also changed. Now you can easily move the layer and when you move it, you'll see the transparency checker pattern behind the layer. This all indicates a transparent background. You can customize it in the preferences. Now let's see another option to unlock the layer. You just need to grab that lock symbol and drag it to the trash, and it simply unlocks the layer. Now this is the background layer. To add more images, press the Shift key and drag and drop the image to the center. You can see what happened in the layer panel. It has created a new layer on top of the layer panel instead of adding or mixing the pixels with the background layer. In the layer panel, you can see each layer has an eye symbol. By clicking on the eye symbol, you can turn each layer on or off. There are two images, but now let's check about text. Add some text and then look into the layer panel. A new text layer is created on the top. So the main thing about the layer system is to keep every single item in a different layer and don't let any of them destroy or mix with each other. Now let's talk about one of the greatest features of layers, the layer mask. A layer mask can hide or reveal pixels of a layer without deleting them. Without the help of layer masks, if we want to hide some part of the image, then we have to delete that part by using the eraser tool in the tools panel. Let's try it. In this method, the problem is, once you have deleted a part of the image, then it's permanently deleted from the image. So if we want to bring those pixels back, then it's not possible. Now let's try it using the layer mask. So first, undo erasing. Layer mask is another image attached to the layer. You can take a layer mask by clicking on this icon. Or the other option is to select the layer and open Layer Menu and then go to Layer Mask and choose Reveal All. You've noticed it adds a new layer filled with white color and the white color will reveal everything on the image. Now I want to hide some part of the image, so for that, instead of using the Eraser tool, you have to choose the Brush tool. And we can see that the layer mask is filled with white color, so I'm going to paint with black color. You can notice that I'm doing the same thing that I would have done before using the eraser tool. But in this, I haven't deleted anything. I'm just hiding those pixels with the use of the layer mask. Look at the layer mask. It's painted this area with black color, and that black color is hiding what is on the layer. If I press Shift key and click on that layer mask, then the mask will be disabled, and it reveals everything on that layer. That means I've deleted nothing. So this was the basic concept of Layer Mask. Now let's talk about Blending Modes. Blending Mode allows you to blend any layer with another below it. For example, if I select this layer and go to Blending Mode and change it to Overlay from Normal, look how it's blended with the background image. You can try different blend modes. But the good thing is that the layer is not mixed up with the other layer. It's still separate. If I change the blend mode to normal, then I can get my original image back as it was before. These were all the basic concepts of layer systems in Photoshop. We can add different things in layers, whether it's text, images, shapes, or in the latest version of Photoshop, we can even add a 3D model in layer panels and work on that.